hello guys you are welcome to this tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to design another product flyer but simultaneously i'm going to show you how you can remove the background of an image without reducing the quality of that image yeah so most of the time that is the challenge that us graphic designers we have you know wanting to do a design with a particular image and not wanting that our image quality reduces we find it very difficult to actually achieve that fit removing the background of that image without you know decreasing its quality but i found this app that does that function very well it removes the background but yet still maintain the quality of that image so this app is um photo room this is the app here you can get it on play store photo room so now i want to remove the background of the product i'm going to design it flyer so i'll click on photo room it uses data so you must make sure that your data is on whenever you are using this app so i'll click on this blue tab here start from photo i'll click on it So as you can see the bag has been removed so all i need to do now is to click on this one if you look up what you see transparent this is the transparent version of it this one here is a transparent version of the image so i'll click on it then if you look at the top right hand corner you see the the download tab there so you click on that download tab you click this blue button at the center save to gallery so we have downloaded this image and there is little or no reduction of um the quality of the image so right now i'll go to my pixel app so this is my pixel app working space let me just import the png image of that product of the shoe okay so this is the image now i want to design a product flyer but i have a challenge here in the sense that i don't know the colors i will use for this design but if you have been following up in the other designs you will see that most of the colors i use i take them from the image itself from the image so in this image i have two colors right you have um brown and white so that is already a clue as to which color i have to use for this design so now i will click for my background color I'll use white i'll click on this background tool i go to color and i make sure i take a white color for the background now if you look at this shoe it seems as if the shoe is actually you know suspending so i have to create an impression that it is lying on a surface yes so i'll go to my shape tool i choose shape um the radius i'll click here and choose a circular shape for the opacity i reduce it to zero the stroke i increase it then for the blur radius increase it then i reduce now the size of it for that um stroke opacity i reduce it to 40. okay now so i'll just increase this and place here I'll send it behind so you see as if now the shoe is standing on a surface then I will copy this and I place this one here okay so we have created an impression that is actually standing on a surface so now the next thing now is the style of the design the aesthetics this way your creativity needs to come alive yeah so now i want to create something simple not complex so i'll click on shape um i choose circular shape now i want to take the brown color from that shoe so i will come here now to color the color of this shape i click on this plus sign and i will click on this color picker tool i go to where the shoe is and i pick um the brown color from the shoe locate where the portion is I just pick the brown color there 
so this is what i have now so i'll click ok i place this here I'll send it behind so i'll increase this okay so i'll copy this i'll reduce the size and i place here so you should go behind okay now i'll still copy that again i'll reduce the size and i place here i'm just trying things out um it's not like this is this is a particular pattern where the design have to follow no i'm just playing with my creativity yeah in order to remove um to produce a good layout for the design yeah so what needs to be done again and um, let me put in now the necessary details so i'll put um what will i put here fashion shoes I come to my font. I'll be using this font. Bell titling. This is what I'll be using. So I'll increase the size to some value to 100. Okay, if you look at the fashion and the shoes, you see that that separation, that um, distance there. I want to reduce that gap. So I'll come to line spacing. I'll reduce it. Okay, let me leave it at 40. Okay. Now, at this basic level, there is something you have to take note when doing your design. Yeah, you must not let go of design principles. And what are these design principles? You have the color. You have alignment. You must make sure that you use a good color that will reflect your design. You use yeah we could still use brown no problem yeah we could still use brown i must take note too of alignment alignment means all your design elements or text must be aligned yeah so let me go to my ruler tool and i make sure that all elements that are put within this in this design are within the boundary of fashion shoes they should not go they should not pass fashion shoes so what do i need to put here again let me import my contact icons okay so these are my contact icons i could just crop out the ones i need let me take the first row first um reduce the size and i make sure that it wear aligns here i'm creating something simple okay so let me put my social media name i'll take this brown color and for the font type i'll be using this font type montserrat medium this one too small let me leave it at 20 okay so we are still trying again so what needs to be added again let me just add some few details let me just add something your best fashion your best fashion shoe okay um i'll be here i'll be using the font type i'll be using here montserrat black yeah this is what i'll be using montserrat black
okay let me choose the brown color your best fashion shoe so um yeah let me see let me make sure that everything here is centralized so i'll click here and i click the three circles with the shadows and the shoe then i click on this icon i want to put them at the center i want it to be well centralized i click on this icon here then i click on this one yeah I click there i click on these two icons simultaneously this and this the ones at the middle yeah so that shoe now is well aligned at the middle let me bring this one down a bit and reduce the size you can as well enclose this text in a rectangle so i'll go to my shape to reduce the opacity i go to radius put the radius at two then the stroke color now i choose the brown color and i make sure that the rectangle here encloses this text okay let me check the stroke color let me put a stroke at one okay yeah so what's left here let me put um a discount so I'll put a price stack so we'll be using this particular element so um let me see and put it here i'll put a thumbnail there let me just import the thumbnail okay so reduce the size I'll make sure that it fits well in that hole then i'll put an effect a shadow effect reduce the opacity of the shadow to this and i bring it down okay yeah so it's okay so i'll put um 30 percent off that's what i'll put as the discount 30 percent Make sure everything is capitalized so the font i'll be using the font type i'll be using here is um monster extra bold this one change the color to white okay so the spacing the line spacing i'll reduce the line spacing and make sure that it is well fitted there okay um i think we are good to go with this we have gone some length let me just put some additional element to increase the beauty of it so this dot 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 this just adds i just i'm just trying to beautify the design not that it is really needed okay so with this now um i'll go to to style I click on this B. I go now to line spacing and reduce the line spacing. Okay, I change the color to brown. Let me put here. Okay. So what we have done, we have just designed a simple, very simple but yet classic um product flyer. So I'll go ahead, I'll click here to save. Now I want to enhance the quality of this design. So where you have default, you click, you choose ultra. In order to give it a high quality, I'll click save. 
I want to go to Synapse to enhance the quality of this design. So right away, I'm going now to my Synapse app. So I think that's the most sent flyer. Okay. So I'll go to two for the care of I'll bring it down. Then I'll go to details. I'll put the structure at 50. Um, then I will sharpen it to 100. Okay. So I'll go now to tune image, the brightness. I'll keep the brightness at that level. Same with contrast, saturation, ambience, highlight. Click OK. So from there, I think I'm good to go now. So I'll just click here and save the photo. So that's all about, you know, designing this simple but yet classic product flyer. So you can just go ahead, watch the video again and try out something nice. Thanks. See you in the next video.